Ah. <laughs> oh. Robert, watch that dog show me his lipstick, mate. I'm here pouring my heart out to you. All you can do is mock me. I can change, babe! Please! Take me back, Take me back! Please, Please. 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 Stop it! You're embarrassing me! See that? Acting. My talent's just wasting away. Now, oh, please, can I tell my story? Please. All right, then. Yes, you must. Continue, if you please. Why, thank you, since you ask. I'm in mourning. Mourning? Uh, it's been to a funeral. Who died? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Well, it doesn't matter, does it? Of course it fucking does. Who cares? Why would you go to a funeral of someone you don't know? Because that's where I meet them. Who? <laughs> <laughs> right, her name is Gianna. Oh, she's 32. And she's got... Ugh, she's got this ass that you could stack your DVD collection on. <laughs> and she's a spin doctor, so she can help me after my spin classes. That's not what a spin doctor does, babe. What? <laughs> That's not what they do. What do you mean? She can't help me after legs, bums and tongues. <laughs> no, I can. A spin doctor is someone that talks in favour of, like, a particular group or public figure to the media. So, like, the um, Trevor McDonald bloke on the Uncle Ben's rice packet? Yeah. K kind of. OK, cool. <sighs> you see... I think that's where you're going wrong, though, Tam. You see, I know what they want, what they need and I give it to them. After that, it's like, well, it's like bees to honey. And what's that? Well, what they want, what they need. The gift of Candice. Oh, drink it in, man. <sighs> yeah, I'm just going to go over here now. I know, but I do get a mosh of seeing dead people and all that. It's like one long sleep. Yeah. Well, I'll sleep when you're dead. Oh, my God, <laughs> piss <laughs> off, you're cold. Tough, cold killer you are. Don't call me that. It's a joke. Where's the joke? Shit's getting real, can. Yep. Got a call from the Army Reserves today. Oh. I'm in. But that's good news then, isn't it? Yeah. Fuck.
So when do you start? Next week. Next week? What about our Disney DVD week? Oh, there's always another week. No, but we said next week. I'm gonna miss you, shit face. I'm not gonna be gone forever, Can. And plus, you're not gonna miss me that much. You'll be too busy sniffing phones in the girls' changing rooms. <laughs> and besides, you've got the others anyway. No, right? fuck them. You've got nothing to lose when you lose fake friends. All I need is you, Tan. Who's my wingman, remember? Fuck off. We're all like third wheel. <laughs> what are you talking about? I thought you loved it. What, sitting for hours at Dixie's with that fat, stuttering Chinese kid, Kenny Fu? <laughs> <laughs> Who took pics of us in the toilets, by the way? <laughs> yeah. I just stare at his Mahuse five head and listen to his <laughs> whack music while you was with that ginger peep. Mark, um, what's his face? He was strawberry blonde, actually. And I thought you liked Kenny. You know, he loves rap music. Reciting the words of Fresh Prince does not count. And are you serious? <laughs> it was the worst thing you were asking me out. It was yeah, like yeah. watching the, the Hulk <laughs> eating a lemon. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so, so, uh, will, 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 you, will you be my wife? Eh? <laughs> Listen, he's so lucky. If he came any nearer, I would have dashed my burger sauce in his eyes. No. Do you know, yeah, he showed me a picture of his fucking dick, the perv. Do you know, I never understood that. What is a dick pic? got to do with a girl. Like, if you're going to send someone a picture of your knob, at least wash the fella. Yes. Do you know what I mean? Treat it to some soap, yes. man. Make sure it's put in proper for the I mean, who wants to see some grimy old pecker that you ain't washed since you started playing Crash Bandicoot <laughs> on your PlayStation? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Can't you just say you're disabled or something? Huh? For the army, because of Disney DVD week. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Well, I don't know. Can't you say you got a peg leg or something? Oh, come on. Uh, just act like you're a window licker. <laughs> yeah, sort of monging out. Like, <laughs> <laughs> That's what I do when I don't want to wait in the ladies queue. Fuck, waiting half an hour for a piss. Uh, It's too late now, Watson. No shit, Sherlock. Fuck. Anyway, guess what I found? What? <laughs> <laughs> no, what is that? Yeah, do you like? <laughs> no can. <laughs> I think it's Colombian. Colombian? It's more like a fucking Croydon. Where the hell did you get that? I found it. You found it? At the funeral, wasn't it? You found a wig at the funeral? Well, not like found. Well, I took it. From? Nah. Oh, nah. no way. It's not as if she's going to do anything with it, was she? All uh, chilling in her casket and shit. You know, waste not, want not. That's what my nan says. And besides, I need some lolly for my trial. Oh, for fuck's sake, can not again. Can you stop getting caught sucking someone's chicken drumstick behind Dixie, please? Uh, no, actually. I need some new boots for my football trial with Charlton Athletic next week. Been eyeing up them new Neymar ones. <laughs> football trial? Since when? You can't even get a trial for Hartlepool's blind team. Um, I'm rather good, actually. Do you know what? I'm great. No, don't fuck it. I'm a natural. Kim told me. Kim who? Kimberly Earnshaw. What? Kimberly Earnshaw from sixth form who gave that math teacher, Mr Mullins, a hand job during that theatre trip. No, her twin sister, Kimberly. So Kimberly Earnshaw's got a twin sister called Kimberly Earnshaw. Yeah, but she's half cast. You can't say that. Why not? It's a derogatory term. A derogatory term. What? It's racist. Uh, I ain't racist. I own a colour TV, and you know I'm like a tenth African. And besides, my uncle Nigel works in a factory where they used to make umbongo. So I'm cultured. Cultured. <laughs> Only thing cultured about you, yeah, is some peri peri on your cheeky Nando's. Oh, piss off. <laughs> Is that what they teach you in slaughter school? Don't call it that. 
Why can't you just be happy for me, Dan? I am, Cam. I just... I just want a bag of nice wag tan. Do you know what I mean? Like... Like a girl I can Netflix and chill with. Do you know what I mean? Like burp and Dutch oven with. <laughs> After a cheeky Nando's. Someone like you, but without the DVD extras. Saying so I'm fat. No, Captain. Oh. I just, I need someone like you. Well, why would you get a replica when you can get the real thing right here? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> You, you fucking fuck. I'm just a tampon, Chan. <laughs> okay, who are your last roller? What about me? What about you? How can you just do that after all these years and just go? Hello, it's the Candy Show. Sorry, line is busy. We're meant to be there for each other, Tan. That's what lifers do. Lifers? You trying to tell me about life? What do you know about life, Candice? You got it easy. You get chance after chance. And what do you do? Make excuse after excuse. And do you know what? I'm done. No, wait, wait, what do you mean? That time when I phoned you during karaoke night with my mum. Where were you, Ken? Where were you when all those fuckers told her to get up on stage and sing one of her songs? They were begging her. Go on, Alice, love. Give us one of your songs. Go on, girl. Show them what you're made of. All those drunken old pervs with their hands down their bull sacks, staring at her, drooling with a hard on, gazing at her as she carried that... <sighs> that fucking plastic bag for her bowels because of the cancer. As she went on stage for that, for that short second, she had a sense of, of being wanted, being needed. She was that superstar again. That shining star in front of all those bright lights, like it was back in the day. As she stepped on stage, she tripped over one of the tubes from that fucking plastic bag and she fell over and and they laughed they all laughed at her mom and I didn't say a word once we left the pub as we waited for the train she turned around looked me in the eyes and said you look just like my mum. Kissed me on the cheek and jumped in front of the 2312 to London Bridge. Where was you? Hmm? Where was you then, Can? Where was you, Candies? Hmm? Where was my wingman? Where was my fucking wingman, Candice? Where was my fucking wingman, you stupid fuck? Where was he then? He wasn't fucking there, no. Candice! Hello? Oh, hi, Sandra. It's Candice. Tanya, yeah, yeah, she's all right. Did she hear back from them? Yeah, she's in. Yo, 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 yo. 
Okay. Sometimes when I'm alone, I start to panic. Sometimes I can't manage. I threw away the empty cigarette packet. Saying that'll be my last, then I told him not to call again. Then I separated from my friends. So it's just me and the beat and my phone. I type of lyrics in it. Don't holler, I just wanna be alone for a minute. It's funny that I say that, cause loneliness scares me. I pray that God will take away the thoughts that tried to arrest me and bless me. Cause deep down I want the best, but my spirit's having battles with my mind and my flesh. I fantasize about things I know that I shouldn't, and I'm stressed. Cause now I'm getting older, no more time to waste. But I know I said that last year. And then I fell away, I guess I lost focus Got lazy, I lost faith Priorities messed up Or maybe there's a deeper issue